beehives heisted from a local beekeeper. Something officials say happens more often than you think. Now lawmakers are trying when to strengthen close, the there was laws nothing. around honeybees. When I came close, the only thing that I was able to see is just the footprints of the pallets of the hives where they used to be. Let's get more new tonight. CBS 13's Jen McGraw is live in Yolo County with a look at what happened here, Jen. Tony and Christina, these honeybees are often kept from the general population so they can buzz freely. The problem with that, nobody's going to see such a heist. I'm the fourth generation beekeepers. My parents, my grandparents, even my grand grandparents. And for the first time, Victor Kojin has been stung by thieves. Everything was cleaned up, so nothing was left. The suspect swarmed his hive with an estimated 40,000 bees inside worth $27,000. Very, very upset. Maddening to think it's someone within his community. One he calls family, just like the very bees he keeps. Those people, they were uh, beekeepers. They knew something about uh, beekeeping. It happened near the Sacramento airport. Victor believes in the middle of the night, thieves took off with more than 80 hives and all their extra equipment. Keepers like Victor are concerned this bad behavior could seriously harm the industry. Year by year, it becomes more difficult to keep the bees alive. And bees are big business in California. The state is the nation's leading honey producer with nearly a half a million bee colonies operated by 400 beekeepers. A new law requires all beehives to be registered, a way to keep honeybees off the black and yellow market. I'm looking to brand all the boxes, also the frames to be branded. If the stolen bees aren't cared for properly, they will likely die. Everything is gone. We feel, of course, upset and, and very much hurt. Not hurt by the sting of a bee, but by felons jeopardizing his future. This is my passion. This is what I do. This is what I like. Again, $27,000 is a big hit. If you recognize the bee boxes in that video, you're urged to contact the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. And again, there is a cash reward. Yeah, it's big business. All right, Jen, thank you for that live update.